Hi, I'm Lloyd from Canoe Canada East, and it's winter. There's not a lot of canoeing to be done, so today we're going to be talking about fire lighting in the snow. One of the first things you'll notice is there's snow everywhere, all over everything. So where do you find dry wood and tinder in all of this? Well, let me show you. So here in Canada we have this green moss that grows on maple trees, birch trees, pine trees. It makes a very, very excellent tinder in the summer. Now if you're lucky enough to find some of this hanging off a tree, you can stick it in your pocket, and let it dry out over the course of a few hours. It's not very reliable if you're out skiing, you get hurt, you need a fire now. One of the most effective tinders that you can find in Canada is of course birch bark. Unfortunately in the winter time, especially after an ice storm, quite frequently it's covered with ice and snow and is less reliable than it would be in the summer. Now, this isn't a problem if you're able to collect it Put it in your pocket and let it dry out for a few hours. So you don't really need an axe to collect a lot of the, the small wood that's going to be available to you in the forest. A lot of these dead standing fir trees, spruce trees and such, will have absolutely fabulous dry wood all year round easily collectible. You can do this with a hatchet, take it off at the tree. You get a little bit of extra kindling that way. But I find the best way is just to break off what you need until you get a good sized handful. And there we go. So here we are with a bunch of firewood. Let's see if we can make this uh, into a campfire. So this here is what we call a ferro rod. Available pretty well anywhere, any sporting goods store, you can even get them at Canadian Tire. And when you open it up, what's inside? A rod and a striker. And what do you get when you scrape one against the other? Sparks. And these are the sparks that we're going to use to try and light our fire. Now the good thing about the ferro rod is you can put this in water for days. You can fall down in the snow as many times as you want. You can't break it. You can't get it wet. And even if you do, it still works. Wonderful. So the first thing we're going to try is this uh, green old man's beard. It's been in my pocket for about an hour or so now. <clears throat> Still pretty damp. Let's see if we can get it to light. Well, still pretty damp. I don't know, it's smoking a bit. Oh, there it goes. Oh, briefly. So with the old man's beard, we get a little bit of smoke, a little puff of flame, but not much. Not very reliable. Great in the summertime, too damp in the winter. Let's try the birch bark. Oh, will you look at that. We got flame. So the birch bark is a great deal more reliable than the old man's beard. Now if we wanted, we could put our small wood right on top of this. In a few seconds we'd have our fire.
So now if you don't have a lot of time to light a fire and you don't want to go looking for birch bark, you don't want to go looking for old man's beard, which may or may not work, there's something else that you can bring with you and everybody has access to it. Dryer lint. A little bit of this instant campfire. The great thing about it is it's free. Now the thing about dryer lint is your clothes have to be mostly cotton or wool. Man-made fibers don't ignite so well. Well, let's try this out. Dryer lint. Works every time. Well, thank you for watching Winter Fire Lighting here on Canoe Canada East. I hope you enjoyed it. It's January, so there will be a few more winter videos left to do before the spring breakup. And uh, after that, uh, we'll do some canoe videos. See how you like those. Have a great day.